I'm going to be teaching you how to gain access to any of these applications within the mobile device. So for example, in this case, I have a specific mobile app here and we will learn how to get the username and password to log in to any of these mobile apps. Now kids, before we go any further, remember hacking is illegal. Before you start hacking, remember to ask your mom for permission first. So right here, we have our best friend, Kala Linux, or of course you can also be using Windows XP to run any of these hacking operations. So in this case, what I need to do is enter the following of ADB devices. So in this case, we have not had the daemon started. Um, so we have it running right now. So if I enter ADB devices, you can see that there are no list of devices attached. So what we need to do is to go back into the target device over here. And what I can do now is to go over into Wi-Fi. So let's say I'm connected over into Wi-Fi. I can pull down from the top and you can see the Wi-Fi setting over here. And what I can do now is to go ahead and click onto it. So when I clicked onto it, I can get my IP address. So here in this case, I have the IP address of 192, all right, 168.0.205. So let's go ahead and try to connect over to it using ADB. So I enter ADB, connect 192, 168.0.205, and then follow my port 5555, hit enter on that. Okay, done. So if I enter ADB devices now, we now have remote access over into the device. Next up, we can go ahead and enter ADB shell. So we now have shell access, I can enter SU. So right now, we are using the user of root. So we have root access inside the mobile device. So this is really powerful. And what I can do next is to CD over data, data com dot Android dot. In this case, we have the following. All right, hit enter on that, enter LS and then enter into chat preferences, enter LS again. And this is the part where we can view the username as well as the password as is in use to log in over into the mobile application. So I can say, for example, cat my chat preferences .xml. I hit enter on this. There you go. We got one, the encrypted username, as well as two, the super secure password. Now that is not the real username or password that is stored inside the mobile device. In fact, it is protected. So what we need to do now is to decrypt it, unprotect it, gain access to the plain text information. So I went over to Launch Mousepad, our editor, so I can go ahead and copy this first. So copy selection, hit over here, I paste it. All right, so I've saved it into a location, so we'll be using this later on. So what I can do now is to hit over and break down the application itself. So I can enter, say for example, in this case, LS, and we have, of course, I've downloaded this Android Insecure Banking app. I can enter LS again. And we have, in this situation, an Insecure Bank v 2apk So I've downloaded this APK file, and we want to extract it and see what is inside of it so that we gain some kind of credentials or password information that can allow us to decrypt the username as well as the password. To get direct access to some of these APK files that are downloaded or you got them from different kind of play stores, you can go to APK Mirror. So this is the place where you can download a specific APK file and then you'll be able to extract and do your analysis from there. So what we can do right now is to go ahead and extract it. I'll be introducing a tool here called JDX and then we do a dash D and we do and add in the absolute path. So in this case, we have home slash hacker alloy slash Android dash insecure bank v2 followed by extracted folder and then we target the APK file that we have downloaded. In this situation, we have slash home again, slash hacker loy, slash Android dash insecure bank v2 followed by insecure bank v2 dot APK. Hit enter on this and now we are extracting. So you can see over here we're loading and there's going to be a progress, all right, 24% and we're extracting more and more of the information over here and with that, we can look into the source of the APK file and we can see deeply what is going on. And the one that we'll be inspecting over here, let me show you just that, as we navigate over, so I CD over into Extracted and I can see over here we have resources as well as sources, so I can CD over into sources and then into com, into Android and then right here we can see that we have the insecure bank v2 and I can enter LS again, these are the files. This is the information right here. And the one that we're targeting in this situation can do a mouse pad 
over into, say, for example, do login. So the one you're trying to target is what is happening? What's the logic behind it when we're logging in? I hit enter on that. So we now open this up and let me just zoom in a little more so it's easier for you to see. And you can see this is the logic behind what's going on. So if there is a correct credentials, so you can see the pop up over here. And of course, the one that will be investigating further, like, for example, the earlier part, you'd be saying, hey, how did Hacker Loy knew about the path where the encrypted username and password were stored? So in that case, we have the chat preferences and the do login get chat preferences. So this is the one that we're seeing right here. And what happens next is it commits over into the storage folder or our directory. And this is how we are able to get that specific file or storage file name. Additionally, you can see right here, we have a crypto class. So they are using some kind of encryption technology. So in this situation, for the encrypted username, it uses Base64. So Base64 is not encryption, all right? So we can directly be able to go over into the Base64 decode and get the information out for the username. And then the secure, all right, super secure password. So do log in this dot super secure password, okay? So what we need to do then, if you go over here, going back to the directory again, we can see that there is a crypto class dot Java. So this is another one that we can target to see what's the logic behind it. All right, now whatever we are doing is pretty raw. So I wanna to introduce to you JADX dash GUI. And this is so much easier to use as compared to seeing some of the raw sources of information. So I can head over to file and I can go ahead and enter, say for example, open files. And we have the following of insecure bank v2.apk. So it's literally the same thing, just that it gives you a graphical user interface. You can see it loaded right now on the left. So I can extend onto source code, com, Android, and I can now double click onto it. So the one that we saw earlier was do login. So you can see right here, we have all the information. All right, and I can also click on the crypto class. So in crypto class, what's really interesting right now is, you can see here, we have the string key. So this is the key that is used to encrypt as well as decrypt the information. And we also have the initialization vector, which is set to all zeros. So with this two information right here, we can do a lot of things. So you can see and investigate, it uses AES, Advanced Encryption Standard 256 Encrypt, followed by, you can see, the IV bytes, the key bytes, the text bytes, all right? And we can see the cipher is AES, CBC, PK, CS5 padding. So we can use this information right here, and you can see the decryption option as well, which is similar. So we can use this to help us get that password. Now, heading back to the collected information, I can copy the information here, which is the encrypted username. I hit over to a site like Base64 Decode. I can paste the information right here, and I can click onto Decode. And from the decoded result, we can get Hacker Loy. So the username is Hacker Loy. So right here, the next target attribute is going to be the password field. So what we have now is I can head back over into the super secure password. I can copy the selection right here and I can go over into a website like encode-decode.com and we have the supported encryption option. So in this situation with AEX256, I paste the encrypted string right here. And what we have is the secret key. So if you head back over into this part, we have the string key so I can copy this is the super secret key one through three. I head back over to the browser. I paste the key right here. And all I have to do is click decrypt string. And you can see we have handsome loy as the password. Last but not the least, let's head back over into the mobile application. So we're here right now and I can head over into the app. So we have the insecure bank V2. I hit enter on this. And all I have to do right now is enter the using a hacker loy and the password of handsome loy and go ahead and click on to login boom and we now have access to the account so once again i hope you've learned something useful something valuable and there'll be a lot more of this mobile application hacking tutorials coming your way so stay tuned for that